So in this video, I want to talk about your sexual power as a man, your sexual energy, your creative energy, and what it does for your dating life and how it can, how it can actually supercharge your dating life, how it can actually make your relationships 10 times better and get you the woman of your dreams or women of your dreams. And this message not only applies to men, it really applies to everybody, but especially you as a man watching this video, learning how to be better with women. Let's get into it right now. So first off, to understand this topic and how important it really is, you got to understand what sexual energy is. Sexual energy is your turned on energy. It's your ability to be turned on. And your turn on doesn't just represent your turn on for women. It represents your turn on for life. It represents your turn on for everything. For example, you have certain things you might be currently turned on for. Maybe you love playing guitar and you're massively turned on for your guitar. Or maybe you're really turned on for a certain sport that you love to do. That turn on is that energy energy that comes out of you that gets you moving, that causes you to want to take action, that causes you to want to move towards something. And if you have trouble with your turn on, you're going to have a hard time going out and taking action. But on top of that, you're going to also have a hard time creating. Because see, turn on energy is creative energy. Think about it for a minute. Your turn on, your sexual turn on creates babies. It goes out and causes us to reproduce. That energy is super powerful. That is the same energy that you put into whatever you love to do. Whenever you take action, for example, whenever you go for something, that turn on gets infused into it. You can have love for something. Let's say you have love for art and you really appreciate it. That doesn't make you want to go become an artist. It makes you want to actually appreciate art, enjoy art. You might have a love for music. You might sit there and listen to music all day. That doesn't make you want to become a musician. But if you're turned on for the music, there's this it, a lower energy, this passion that gets involved into it. You're not only going to be turned on to go play the music, you're going to be driven to go do it. You're going to do it all day long. I've met guys out there that are turned on for women, really turned on. They don't apologize for it. And, and personally, I had to develop this, but a lot of guys don't have it. And some guys have it naturally. Those guys love to go meet women. They're turned on for the idea of even approaching women or meeting women or talking to women. Women are amazing to them. The women make them more turned on. And this is really powerful when you think about it. Let this kind of marinate for a bit. When you go out to meet women, do you get turned on or do you shut down your turn on? Do you pull it back? Do you repress it? A lot of guys repress their turn on. They have a lot of shame around their turn on. They have a lot of guilt around their turn on. They shut it off. And this affects their ability to go meet women. If you have a lot of shame around your turn on and you want to go talk to a beautiful girl at the bar or on the street, or you're on a date with a beautiful woman and you want to move it forward sexually, you want to kiss her, you want to start holding her hands, there's a part of you that's going going to pull back or want to pull back because it's going to make you feel vulnerable. It's going to make you feel really insecure and not vulnerable in a good way. It's going to make you feel vulnerable in a weak sort of way. Like, oh my God, what if she gets mad at me? What if she thinks I'm a creep? What if she thinks I'm doing something bad? And a lot of guys have this. I used to have this. I was so ashamed of my sexual turn on that I wouldn't escalate with women. I was so ashamed of my sexual turn on that I wouldn't approach women. And this is a really important piece. If you want to move forward with a woman, escalate on a date, or you want to go out and meet a woman on the street, or you see a beautiful girl over there and you want to go talk to her and ask her out on a date, what does that imply when you go to do that? It implies that you might want to have sex with her that you might want to move forward with her sexually. And if you are terrified of what she thinks of you, if you want to have sex with her, if you're ashamed of your own sexual energy and you're holding it back, then what will you do? You're not going to want to go over there. You're going to want to neuter yourself. You're going to want to numb that area and pretend like you don't want to want sex, that you're not a sexual being, and you're going to shut down that part of yourself. And the truth is, is she's not going to feel any attraction for you or turn on for you in return. So she's not going to see you that way, most likely. There are exceptions to that rule. Sometimes a girl will bring that sexual energy first. But most of the time, when you walk up, you got to have some level of turn on. So if you, if you think about this in the world, this is really powerful with powerful individuals. If you look out there, think about all those self-made successful people. Think, think about sports athletes. They are turned on for what they do. Think about like Kobe Bryant and uh, Shaquille O'Neal, really powerful figures like um, Richard Branson. Do they have a problem with turn on? No, they don't. They all enjoy being turned on human beings. They're turned on for the sport. They're turned on for women. 
and they don't apologize for having a cock and balls, to, to put it bluntly. They don't apologize for being a sexual being. There's only one caveat to that. You have to mix it with heart. A lot of guys that go out there, that, uh, that there are, there's an exception to this rule, and you might be that guy watching this video. It's a smaller percentage of men that have a lot of turn on, but don't have much heart energy. They are really closed off here. They don't have this ability to feel jo uh, vulnerability with women. And they, they wall off their heart because they're afraid of them feeling that. The heart represents joy. It represents love. It represents compassion. It represents uh, caring. Um, it represents gratitude. So if your heart is shut off and you don't have good access to your heart and you got a lot of turn on, yes, you will come across as creepy or possibly lecherous and pushing and forward. But if you've got a lot of heart, but you don't have much turn on, you're going to come across as sweet, like a nice guy. And girls are going to maybe want to be your friend, but they're not going to want to have sex with you. They're not going to want to move forward with you. So how do you fix this problem? You fix this problem by removing the shame from your turn on. You remove the shame from sex. You start to get in touch with your sexual energy. You start to get comfortable with sexual energy. I had to do this. I was really ashamed of being a man, uh, let alone a sexual being, let alone wanting to have sex. I didn't want women to know I was turned on for them. I was afraid they would get mad at me. I was afraid they would judge me, that I was seeing them as a sexual object, that type of stuff. And the truth is that if a woman is gonna want to date you, she's gonna want you to be turned on for her. She's gonna wanna believe that you can be turned on for her. She just doesn't want you to only be turned on for her. So when women say, I don't want you to see me as a sexual object, uh, what they're really saying, at least the healthy women, what they're really saying is I don't want you to see me as only a sexual object. I want you to see me with your heart too. Yes, you can be turned on for me. I, I'd love to be seen as an attractive woman. I also want you to care about me as a human being. And when you got those two in combination, it's really, really powerful. Okay, so what do you do about this? What do you do if you have no turn on? And, and I want to go back to one point that I, illust I started to allude to earlier. And I just want to re-illustrate it in another way. Think about this for a minute. If you're going to approach a beautiful woman on the street and you're ashamed of your turn on and you have problems approaching women, you're always trying to get over your fear of approaching women and you just can't seem to do it, this might be the problem. You see, for example, if you want to go over and say hi to that woman, but yet you're ashamed of being turned on, as you go to say hi to her, the implied message again, like I said earlier, is that you might want to have sex with her. And I say might because if you're a really confident guy, what really confident men do is they say, yeah, you're really sexy. I think you're beautiful. You're the type of girl I'd love to be with, but I don't know you yet. More insecure guys that are just working on this, they see a beautiful woman, they haven't had sex in a long time and they definitely want to have sex. And so they're like, well, I just want to have sex with you. And so as you grow, you'll evolve out of that. Now, the implied message again is I might want to have sex with you or I want to have sex with you. What are those two? And as you see that beautiful woman and you start to walk towards her, if you've got sexual shame or shame around being male or shame around having cock and balls or shame around possibly wanting to fuck or fuck her, then your body is going to get more nervous. It's going to get more pulled back. It's going to want to pull, turn you away. It's going to start saying, you know, start telling you your subconscious mind, that little voice in your head is going to start telling you, you know, what are you doing? She's going to think you're a creep. She's going to think you're a weirdo. She's going to think you want to do something bad. And it's going to try to get you to stop. Now, if you're really turned on for women and you think women love sex and you believe women love sex and you love sex and you don't have a problem with your, with your cock and balls, you don't have a problem with women having a sexual organs and, and uh, having a pussy in a sense, then when you approach, you're not going to be ashamed of the fact that you find her attractive. You're going to think she's beautiful. You're not, you're beautiful. Hi, I just wanted to meet you. And if your heart opens too, because you see her as a human being at the same time, you're, you know, th there's a, there's a beautiful human being in front of you. Now she can really enjoy your approach. Then you can become turned on, not just for her, but you can become turned on for approaching and meeting new women, which makes it even easier. Have you met that guy who just loves to approach? Oh my God, there's a beautiful girl there. I got to go talk to her. You know, when I was uh, first learning this, I had a good friend. And he loved to approach. He approached all the time. And it was almost a problem because we'd be walking down the street having a really deep conversation about something. And next thing you know, he's just gone. He's poof, gone. And I turn around and he's chasing some girl down the street. He would catch them from a block away and he'd be like, oh my God, look at that one. I got to go talk to her. And he'd dart right off and, and run to talk to her. 
you know, and, and that is, uh, when you think about it, that's powerful. That is turn on for approaching. Okay. So there's also another turn on. You want to be turned on for getting to know the woman, for really wanting to get to know her as a woman, not just for her body, but for her heart, for her as a human being, for who she is as a woman. And so there's multiple levels of things you can be turned on for. Because remember, turn on is creative energy. It's not just used for sex. You can be turned on for women as women. You lo just love women. Like my friend Zam Perion always says, he just loves women. He thinks they're absolutely beautiful. You know, he's unapologetically in love with women. And his book, Alabaster Girl, really illustrates what it's like to really be turned on and in love with women at the same time. So you got turn on for multiple things. Think about this for a minute. You got turn on for sex and, and sexuality. You're turn on for you for for enjoying sex and sexuality with you as a man turn on for her as a woman and then turn on for her being a human being like really getting to know her loving the feminine nature and uh and just like zan like if you if you don't understand this turn on this turn on for her as a human being and also the sexual turn on how they mix together i think zan's alabaster girl the book alabaster girl is a powerful read to really get that feel so if you start to develop these two parts and you start to get comfortable with your turn on and you start to develop that turn on and you see, you're going to find that your life is going to start to change because you might be numbing your turn on everywhere. Think about it. Do you have turn on for your job? You know, turn on's not just for having sex. You can go out and be turned on for your life, get turned on for building a business, turned on for your art, turned on for uh, going out and doing anything. Turn on is just creative energy. It gets sexualized when you move it towards sex. Okay? So the turn on energy literally develops down here. It develops in the waist area down in this area, in the hips and down to the turn on. You actually feel that area wake up. So if you're walking down the street and you don't feel a little warmth there, a little tingle there, then you're missing something. And you want to be able to feel that turn on and that warmth when you're moving your body. When I walk over to a woman, I want to feel that turn on. I want to feel that turn on for her or for the moment or for the approach. Like, I really want to get to know you. And there's this little little charm or energy going on down here okay and you also want to feel your heart open a little bit these are the two areas you want to work on when i walk over i don't want to walk over with all this turn on and my heart pulled back and walled off and be like hey baby what's up i want to be able to walk with my heart open well, hey what's up you know what's your name how you doing there's just this charm that comes off of you when you have that and that's what you want to develop so if you have trouble with these two areas i highly recommend you start working on it right away because you can learn all the words all the right things to say all the right stories to tell you can start to learn to sexually escalate by grabbing a hand but if these energies are not on the energy is not going to transmit. You're going to feel creepy. You're going to feel weird. You're going to feel strange to her. Something's going to feel off. She's not going to be able to relate to you. She might even think you're a cool guy, but it's, there's just no magic. And, you've, and I used to have that happen all the time. There's just no magic. And I used to have that happen all the time. So with this said, what I want to do is give you a couple different things you can do. First off, if you want to work on this on your own, uh, the first thing I would do is recommend learning to at least meditate on feeling your heart open. Okay? Just welcome the feeling in your heart. Ask it to open 1% and sit there and meditate and explore the feeling in relationship to the environment around you. I talk about this all the time in my videos. If you want some resources for that, you can look through my videos and start listening to example, the full body scan meditation where I take you through the heart, I take you through the stomach, I take you through the turn on, I actually take you through the whole body in that. And we'll see if we can put a link in the video to that somewhere. If you want to get down and start uh, working on the turn on, it's basically the same way. In that body scan meditation, we also work on the turn on, learning to open the, the, the hip area and begin to feel that a little bit and relax into it a little bit each day. I had one client that just did my week long and uh, he killed it. He did so good, the one in Istanbul. He had been listening to that body scan meditation, that full body meditation that we do for about a year straight before he took my week long. And he came in there and he was the top student. He killed it because he could feel so much through the body. The women were really able to relate to him through his heart and through his turn on. So that's one. Number two, 
Um, you could also read the book Alabaster Girl by Zan Perion. That's almost a primer for you getting to open your heart and your turn on and being able to feel your body more. Another thing you can do is start to look up YouTube videos for meditations to allow you to feel your heart and your turn on more. And even the stomach, because the stomach is your self-esteem, your personal power, and that can really cause women to wake up too. And so that's why I love that body scan meditation because it works the whole body straight down. And I'm actually planning to do a better one of those in the near future because that one was not meant to go out, guys. That was meant for uh, just a workshop. It's why it's so tinty sound. It's not, it's not professionally recorded, but people love it. So definitely check that one out. The next thing you can do is start to learn to release or reveal, do the revealing process. You can look up the book Letting Go by David Hawkins and start to read that, learning to let go of all the stored stuff in your body and your heart and so forth. You can also get the revealing process masterclass that we have online. That'll help you to teach you to begin to re release stored trauma, stored emotions in the body, start to get it out so that you can start to feel more and get more comfortable with your vulnerability in your heart and in your turn on. The next thing you can do is, um, you can check out my new book that's coming out, uh, The Art of Fearless Seduction. There's a whole chapter in there in the heart. There's a chapter in there on the turn on. And the last thing that I would recommend you can do. So we're going from free all the way to more paid uh, stuff that you can do if you want to get into our stuff is you can do our Revealing Masterclass Live that's coming up in uh, the Revealing Seminar that's coming up, the Revealing Live, that's the name for it. You can do Revealing Live that's coming up in Miami at the end of July. It's gonna be a live class in Miami where it's almost sold out already. It's been selling like crazy. It's gonna be one of our biggest events where I'm gonna be spending two days teaching you guys the revealing process live to a whole room of people. All that energy compounded together in that room is gonna be so powerful and uh, it's gonna uh, really have a huge effect. So if you can get out there live, I highly recommend it. It's gonna be in a beautiful hotel on the beach, beautiful women everywhere, so it's perfect for this. And the whole weekend is gonna be about dating and I'm sure we'll be, I'll be getting into stuff around sex and sexuality and it's gonna be an awesome week weekend. So any one of those can help you change this area of your life. For me, I started out by learning to just meditate on my hips and move my hips. I welcomed and, and, and just felt what was there. I started revealing on my hips. And I started revealing until I felt a little tingle. At first, it was very numb and I didn't feel much. And then I began to feel a tingle. Then I began to feel what I almost called two tingles. And then they just can't, began to exp uh, expand. Then I began to do it around people, like sitting in a coffee shop. And I'd see if I could just warm up and start to enjoy my turn on while sitting in the coffee shop around uh, attractive women. And I always made sure that I had my heart open too, so that it didn't come across creepy or weird. And I find that the more I do this, the more I get comfortable with this, the more powerful my relationships with beautiful women become. And the more they enjoy sex with me, the more powerful the sex becomes. So I'm gonna invite you into developing your turn on so you can meet beautiful women, so you can have amazing relationships, so you can have amazing sex, so you can get the girlfriend of your dreams. That's what this is gonna help you with. And not just your turn on, but your heart. Your turn on and your heart go together. So hopefully this video helped you. Definitely check out the, um, revealing uh, live that's coming up in July in Miami. Uh, check out the link in this video if you wanna to come to that. But in this video, I gave you a bunch of resources to start to develop this. If you wanna learn more about this or you have more questions about it, please put comments in the video. Maybe at some point I'll do a release around it. Maybe we can go through simple meditations that you can do to work this out. I love to go deeper on topics with time and, and maybe we'll do a whole month because uh, we're gonna start planning out our months. Maybe at some point we'll do a whole month on this type of energy and talk about it more on the YouTube channel. So if you like this video, please hit that like button, smash that like button. Uh, make sure to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. All this helps the YouTube algorithm. Make sure to share for anybody you think that would love this content or could use it. Make sure to put your comments in this video. I'd love to hear what you uh, think of the video and love to also hear uh, what your experience is after you've been doing a little bit of work with this for a bit. And with that said, remember, only the confident really live. Take care, I'll see you in the next video.